Hi, Tim Blankenship here with Divorce661.com, and this is a second video uh, where I'm talking about uh, the use of private judges when you shouldn't, when you should, and what the differences are. Specifically, uh, this particular case uh, was a client uh, who became a client, but who called me after having a consultation with a divorce attorney who basically uh, sold her a bill of goods, essentially. And this is what they were told. They were sold on the fact that they should use a private judge for their divorce and were told specifically that if you go through the normal divorce channels, that your divorce is going to take two years through the court system. And they had an amicable, uncontested divorce case. So the information that they were provided by this law firm was absolutely incorrect. It does not take two years to get through a divorce, uh, especially when it's amicable. Uh, we generally will do a case that's amicable, amicable where parties have all their agreements in place in a matter of hours. In fact, people will come in, we'll get through their entire divorce case in a matter of hours. Or like this other client that just signed up with me, he said, Tim, we have all our agreements. How soon can you get the paperwork done? I said, how soon can you get it to me? And he sent it over and I'll have this done before end of business today. Now, procedurally through the court process, I can get it through the court in one to three months. That's the fastest with court processing and time frames that we can get it through. Even though there's a six month cooling off period, until we can still get the paperwork done quicker. So it's not taking two years. Here was the issue. Here was the reason they were explaining this. This client was told, if you use a private judge, your divorce can be done in a shorter period of time, more like six months as opposed to two years. So what they were doing was, hey, if you go this route, it's gonna take you two years, use our service for the private judge and we'll get you through faster. That's, it's a bad sales approach. That's all they're doing. That's their little sales gimmick. It's gonna take you two years, but hire us to do your divorce and, and hire our private <clears throat> private judge. And we'll, get, we'll take care of all the paperwork and get you through the system faster. I don't care how fast you guys come up with your agreements, you cannot circumvent procedure. You still have to file the case, serve it, do your disclosures and do all the things that have to get done in order to finalize your divorce. And using a private judge, that judge cannot then go to court and say, here, we're not gonna serve it, uh, we don't need to file it, we, didn't, we have an agreement, you can't circumvent it. So a private judge is very much like mediation in that they are going to make a decision or mediation is more they're gonna help you come up with your agreement whereas the private judge will you know, be a judge and make rulings you know, on your case. Uh, but I don't think it's a good way to go unless you, like you know, I was reading this article from another law firm, unless you have, you know, uh, there's pros and cons, just know that. If you have you know, a, a case where you don't want to go through the public venue of a court system and you want it to be heard by a private judge, that would be the way to go. But not for any reasons of speed, not for any reasons of cost effectiveness, uh, none of that. So this, uh, this gal had actually already signed up with the service and she said, why would you think that they would tell me this? I'm starting to feel like they made it sound so difficult that they put me into this higher package pricing service that they had with a private judge uh, under the auspice that it would be faster. And, uh, and that's how they were selling their bill of goods. And I just think it's a bad way to go. And in fact, she canceled service with them and hired us because we're gonna have her case done this week. No private judge. Uh, one fifth of the cost and we're going to get our paperwork done in just a couple of days and then we're going to put it through the court system not going to take two years probably going to take 30 to 60 days to get her judgment processed with the court so just be careful what you're listening to uh, i really love when like this this client that just signed up with us they had done all their homework watched our videos our podcast read our blog read my book read just about everything she i didn't have to say a word she basically was uh, talking and saying and then you said this on this video this on that video and and my job was done she i said you're hired because she knew everything i knew and that's perfect that's exactly what you should be doing when you are about to go through divorce process because there's a lot of bad information out there and unfortunately while we like to put out a lot of information to educate everybody there's a lot of people are using that information and using it to sell you a bill of goods Tim Blankenship, Divorce661.com. Uh, feel free to call me for a free consultation, and you can do so by scheduling it right through our website at Divorce661.com. And I hope you're having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.